Okay, so we have our shortcode implemented. We've learned now how to create custom shortcodes. And in this case, we created a pretty simple one where we injected our shortcode uh, into here and it got it to create three columns. Okay, we created this custom shortcode that utilizes Bootstrap's column structure. And we basically just inject that code, as you can see here. What we're doing is we're injecting this code as kind of the opening part of our shortcode. If you look over here, this one third sort of translates into this code right here, which is how you get that bootstrap kind of uh, three column structure. And then this content part right here in the function here is the equivalent of what's inside the short codes right there. And then the closing part of the short code right here whatever comes after it, that's kind of being implemented with this. That's how you could kind of imagine what's going on. Now there are different kinds of short codes. Uh, you can do kind of self-closing short codes. Uh, we're doing an enclosing one. That means there's an opening tag and a closing tag, much like HTML, but you can create self-closing ones. And again, this web page here is where you can kind of read about it and build out much more powerful short codes but at least now you know how to do it from scratch. Okay, so one thing we ran into, however, in the last video is that we had this weird kind of behavior where it wasn't working properly when we broke this out into multiple lines like that. So if I were to hit update now and go over here and refresh, we kind of, the short codes just stop working. And the reason why is that WordPress injects its own paragraph elements into uh, the content by default. Whenever you use this content editor, by default, WordPress is going in there and injecting its own little paragraph tags. So that breaks our code. And the way we can kind of get around that, there is this function you can write. And it looks like this. Go over to our functions file here. And right down here, we could just add this temporarily. I'm just going to show you how it works. If we say remove underscore filter, this is an official WordPress function. And in here we say the content and then WP auto P, all one word like that. And then add our semicolon. This right here will disable that automatic paragraph feature that WordPress does. So if I save the file now and leave this the way it is, go over here and refresh. There, now it's working. WordPress is not injecting those paragraphs automatically. Okay, so I'm going to remove that, but at least now you know how to disable that feature. Personally, I like to leave this in. I like to disable the WordPress auto paragraph feature uh, because I like to have full control in this editor of what's going on. And I like to you know, actually add my own HTML in here as well. And you can only really do the HTML stuff when you're in text mode right here. But when you're in visual mode, you can kind of just leave things a lot more visual like this. Um, it looks more like a what you see is what you get editor. Sometimes those are called WYSIWYG editors because the acronym stands for what you see is what you get. So this looks a lot more like um, Microsoft Word or something where you can kind of bold things and italicize things. And all of these commands you do will translate into HTML eventually, but that's kind of the benefit of using a visual editor. Now, I prefer to use this text editor to have full control, and if I do that, I like to leave this function in. But I'm going to remove this for now, and we'll just kind of keep things simple. So I'll save my file. And I noticed something as well. The visual editor is kind of funny. If you kind of use it like this, and kind of update using the visual editor, sometimes it ends up working and not causing problems with your code. So let me do this. I'm going to kind of get rid of those spaces so that we get it on three columns. I'll hit update here. Then go over here and refresh. There we go. Now it's behaving properly. And then if I go to visual mode, it looks like this. And if I break these out, and hit update, and then go over here and refresh, it stays. It stays like this. So sometimes you actually have to kind of play around with it. 
But I'm going to leave it like this, and I'm not going to remove the WP Auto P feature that I showed you how to do over here. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave that function out of this and just kind of leave it simple like this for now. But now you know how to disable that. And I just wanted to show that it does act kind of finicky. Sometimes it will actually work um, as you kind of switch back and forth here and you hit update. And so now our short codes are actually behaving the way we want them to. So I just wanted to show you the whole purpose here is to show you a very simple example of a short code. And now that you know how to do that, you could kind of go into the documentation and build out your own and probably make them a lot more valid than what we're doing. Ours is a very basic, simple one.